Hi, my name is Mark D. Coppolis, and I'm a Philadelphia criminal defense and real estate lawyer. And uh, today I would like to talk a little bit about breaking a lease during the coronavirus pandemic. A lot of tenants have called my office since around March 16, 2020, saying, look, my income has dropped 80%. My landlord has cut all the amenities in the building. There used to be a pool. There used to be a sauna. There used to be a gym. That's all been shut down due to COVID-19. They're still charging me like uh, a luxury apartment rental rate. They're using the vacant um, apartment, uh, apartment units for Airbnbs to try to compensate for their, for their declining revenues. This is no longer a good deal for me. Is there a way to break my lease? And the answer to that question in Philadelphia is usually yes, for a number of reasons. First of all, in Philadelphia, um, the city council has very strict ordinances that landlords need to comply with in order to rent property. And if your landlord is non-compliant with these ordinances, the lease that you executed may not be legally enforceable. And so if you sit down with an attorney and they review your lease, they review all the documents that you received, the lawyer may be able to tell you, look, the landlord didn't dot their I's and cross their T's. They're missing a document that they need, a certificate of rental suitability, housing license, something like that. This lease is not legally enforceable. And if it's not legally enforceable and you vacate the property and the landlord is non-compliant, they may not be able to enforce that lease. Um, in Pennsylvania, there's also an obligation for landlords to mitigate their damages. So if you vacate the property and the landlord doesn't do anything to re-rent that property, you may be off the hook if it gets to court and they can't prove that they've mitigated their damages. Another thing to consider is right now, Philadelphia Landlord-Tenant Court is closed. If you're a landlord in Philadelphia, you can't even file an eviction. It is a massive crisis of biblical proportions for a landlord in Philadelphia right now. And so if you have a tenant who sends you a strong letter basically saying, I am vacating the property, you are non-compliant with the code, and they clear up and leave. And this applies primarily to residential tenants, not commercial tenants. But they clear out and leave. Where is the landlord going to focus his resources? He probably has a backlog. If he's a large landlord like a, like a PMC or a large company, he's going to have a backlog of evictions to file. Who's he going to go after first? Is he going to go after the guy that cleared out who's left a vacant unit, or is he going to go after the guy who's sitting in his apartment, not paying rent, who he knows he needs to get out in order to re-rent the property? So in a time of crisis, if, if there's a backlog of evictions, and you leave peacefully and say, look, forget him out by deposit, you know, you're not complying with the code anyway, you're not going to get me, and by the way, if you come after me, I'm going to sue you for my security deposit, they may just say, you know what, it's not worth it. We're just going to let this guy go. Now, that is certainly not the case every time. And it's, it's worth pointing out that a lease is a legally binding document. It's a contract. And if you sign a 12-month lease and you leave at month six, technically you may be liable for the remaining six months. So I'm not saying that you can just break a lease and leave and there's not going to be any repercussions. But what I am saying is that in this time of crisis, if you sit down with an attorney, you review the lease, you review the documents you receive, you may be able to break that lease. And there's probably a stronger probability that you can break the lease than a tenant out in Bucks County or Delaware County or Montgomery County where they don't have all these ordinances that are designed to protect tenants. And there's even more ordinances coming down the line to protect tenants, um, emergency protections for coronavirus, which I'll probably have a, a video up about pretty soon. So my name is Mark Coppolis. I'm a Philadelphia criminal defense and real estate lawyer. If you are in a raw deal, um, if you feel like you know this lease is not working for me, feel free to sit down uh, with my office, with an attorney, myself, and we will go through that lease. We will see if there's a way to break that lease. And if there is, um, then we may discuss sending a letter to your landlord to break that lease. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. My number is 267-535-9776. And as always, thank you for watching my blog.